pretty much going hard. I'm pretty much just getting in a mind state where I'll do anything for money. And it's almost <laughs> anything will be done. So when you listen to it, it's like war music. It's really meant to just pump you up. You know what I'm saying? And and, and when you're going after that money, the mind, the mind state is I'll do anything. I'll, I'll, I'll ride over whatever I have to do. I'll, I'll slap somebody. Whatever I have to do to get this money, man, that's the mind state. That's awesome. You got to get your mind there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, right now, I, I if I could reach right here and grab you right now, Jaguar, I'll get you to get the money. I can't get the screen, man. But it's a mind state. It's meant to hype up the listener um, on that album. It, it, it's one of my more aggressive tracks um, on that album because I have a group called Infantry, and they normally take care of all the aggressive, urban, tough part of my music and styles. That's awesome. When we are going to do this, I'm going to place you on a brief hold here on Skype, and we are going to play this track. And when we come back, we will have more with the general here on our big broadcast. We are going to do some war for money, and uh, this is a heck of a track, and we are going to go to it here on our big broadcast. It is war for money. Here we go on our big program here on the Sunday radio show. Here on 990 WBOB. Emerge victorious, cash app warriors. Hand to hand checks, FedEx, all couriers. Keep still, don't nothing move but the money. Get that grin off your face, ain't a damn thing funny. Extract your ass like a bee does honey. From hero to zero, never meant nothing to me. A nigga act ill for a dollar dollar bill. Take a loss to the boss, bounce back and keep it real. I go to war for the, settle a score for the, slap a bitch for the, clap a nigga for the, give me 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 the, fuck sitting back and waiting on it, fuck debating on it, and fuck every broke nigga hating on it, cash rules everything around me, if you object to that, get your ass from around me, that eagle shit, I love the sound of it, cause when the bank low, you know it's bound to get, seditious and vicious broke niggas getting suspicious, laying the blame in this cold ass game, Settle a score for the Slap a bitch for the Clap a nigga for the Give me 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 the Look at that It's like It was in It was out it is Norm the General. You can get more information, Parish General, on the Facebook. Ooh, the Facebook. And uh, we are going to go back to the General. He is joining us here on Skype. The General is amazing. And uh, I just, I love his energy. I love everything about this guy. So, uh, so General, uh, tell us about your social media. Some of the different things you're doing on social media, my man. Well, social media, we're treating social media like real life. Um, I'm going to go ahead and break the rule right now and take this mask off. <laughs> we're treating it like real life. Uh, we actually are posting past and previous projects because we've been into this for over 20 years now yeah. at Attention Entertainment. Uh, we just dropped our newest video. It's called Black on Black. It's from the album Nothing to Lose. That album came out last June, uh, and that album was followed by the Norm the General album, which came out uh, at the end of last year. So all that can be found on the social media, the at Parish General, that's going to be on um, all of the sites, uh, Instagram, Facebook, attentionentertainment.com. We are on Wednesday Records. Also, uh, we also have our product, any album, Said you can get it online, Attention Entertainment, or Euclid Records in New Orleans, Louisiana. We still making CDs, baby. Look at that! I love it. I'm glad you're doing real CDs, down here. man. Yeah, I am right there. That was me in the year of uh, the year New Orleans was found, 1718. Now I'm the general. Look at that shit! Yeah, That's it. badass. That was my uniform back in 1718. That's me and the crew. We're getting amped up for Mardi Gras. We're about to do some live performances. We just down the earth, just we have fun down here. That's what New Orleans is about, and we're just happy to get get back in it after all of this. 
Well, I'll tell you, you have got some really cool stuff. Tell me a little bit about some of the different people you work with down there. Okay, the people I'm working with down here right now, B is the future. He's back and forth um, in Los Angeles, uh, but he is from New Orleans. Uh, we are working with, it's a lot of people right now. Uh, we are working with yeah. Big Joe. We're working with The Princess. We are working in collaboration with Kingfish. We're working in collaboration with Dino D UFT Productions. So it, it's a lot of work going on right now, and it's underground. So, yeah. So it's, it's an underground scene as well, above ground scene right now. There's G Ride, uh, there's The Princess we're working with. Infantry is an incredible group. They've been with me over 20 years as well. Um, so you can hear them on every album that says Norm the General featuring Infantry. There's only one album um, that, that's not featuring Infantry, and that's Norm the General, Norm the General. That's the album that just dropped um, because I just wanted to just do something kind of on my own, so to speak, to, to show I still had it, so to speak. <laughs> and yeah. they, of course, they beat me over the head, but they were there uh, every step of the way. We're looking forward to performing this new material. And just continually working with new artists because it's a lot of New Orleans coming up in the New Orleans area right now. Also, yes. shout out to Roxy. I I will have to say that that is that is one thing about New Orleans that uh, you guys just keep cranking out musicians yes. out there. Yes. <laughs> I'm yes. just amazed. Yes. It's in the water. By it. It's in the water, Jaguar. It's in the water. <laughs> it's gotta be it's gotta be it is norm the general he's with us today here on our broadcast you can get more information facebook.com slash parish general p-a-r-i-s-h general and he's with us today here on our big broadcast so tell me a little bit about why you guys i love the fact that you're still making cds because there's a lot of people that are still doing yeah. cds people still love cds but why why are you guys doing cds we're doing cds because our fan base was here before there was a digital audience so our fan base had to have cds yeah otherwise there was yeah. no other way um right now i just released this norm the general album and i'm going to tell you right now half of the people need a cd <laughs> you have to get a CD. I mean, yeah. a lot of people are not all the way with uh, this this technology. I actually, I just left. Uh, I was in the Caribbean a few weeks ago, and I'm going to tell you right now, they had 3G, and they couldn't even pull up a lot of my music online um, because the technology is not there. Yeah. Not to yeah. mention a lot of people. Um, um, it's still a lot of people I know that got CD players, and I'm oh, going to yeah. be honest. My car does not have a CD player. But I went kicking and screaming, Jaguar. I did not want to leave that car without a CD player. Now I have no choice. Technology's got me. I'll tell you, man, that is one thing. I love the hell out of my CDs. I love still them got too. all my CDs, brother. I got them. <laughs> <laughs> I just I, I I think it's great that you guys are doing uh doing CDs and everything. So uh I know that there is a lot of people that are that are you know still doing the CDs and a lot of people they're they're trying to bring back cassettes which I think is badass. Um with your with your CDs who who do you who do you get your CDs through and everything? Well, for the CD we we press them up ourselves. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thousands. And then we uh we, we we use different distributors, but in New Orleans, we uh we're exclusively at Euclid Records in New Orleans. That's, that's great. A great underground store. They specialize in traditional music. Um and that's what they love about us because we do have a hard element of hip hop and urban music, but at the same time, we put a lot of that classic New Orleans style in there. So th this music that's coming from home. That's uh, preservation hall and jazz and going back to Satchmo and all these people that put you on the map. You're gonna hear that in these projects. You're always gonna hear. You're gonna hear our saxophonists, the Wood. We have two saxophonists, the Wood and J Dub. So they they're playing the saxophones every now and then. I'll get on a trumpet. We have all types of great musicians, but it's just a different slant. It's that hip hop combined with the urban element, also putting in that New Orleans culture it's it's gumbo it's it's some cajun gumbo <laughs> <laughs> that's great that's great so what what are some of the other instruments that you play t t t tell me about your 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 musical background my musical background i wrote band for the high school um because we 
we didn't have a lot of the the, the, the newer urban music that was out. So we were playing um, um, different music, you know, but I wanted to play the hits. So my teacher challenged me. He challenged me to write for the band. And I learned by getting with the different sections how to write. And I got the that's notes great. together. So that's where it all started. And then from there, I my, my dad played saxophone. So I, I got a trumpet. I, I was on a trumpet. He's on a saxophone. I'm writing music for the band. Hip hop comes out of nowhere. I didn't need much. All I needed was the break beats. But then learning <laughs> to produce, I had to harness the break beats. So far as my musical instruments, aside from the keyboard and the drum, it's it's mainly it's it's mainly production. I'm using a Kurzweil keyboard, very old school. Sometimes I'm using an 808. That's awesome. A lot of urban instruments I'm using. And again, this culture was started, we have to remind people, by breakbeats, because a lot of people get upset or offended when you're sampling or taking something, but that is exactly what started all this. Well, yeah, and that's the speak speak a little to that, my friend, cuz cuz you're right. There there's a lot of people in the age of copyrights and all this nonsense that get, goes on these days yeah. and these intellectual properties. Speak on that. <laughs> you know, what what with the fact that that's how all this stuff started with hip hop. That is exactly how it all started. And at one point, you you would look and see that the coast would show you. You can follow the East Coast and you would see they still paying homage and doing that sampling and so forth. The West yep. Coast kind of got to playing live music. But now it's all even now. It's all even now because there's just as many people sampling as there are playing music. And hip hop has evolved as one of the, busy, the, uh, the biggest music in, in, in history right now. So it's a fun place to be. And then inside of music, music of hip hop, you have subgenres. So you might have country rapping. You might have yep. uh, uh, New Orleans rapping. Then you got East Coast. Then you got West Coast. Then you got sad rapping, happy rapping. So it's constantly moving. It's constantly moving, my friend. What do you What do you think about this mumble rap that's out there? I'm gonna tell you something. The mumble rap, a lot of the, the production is so good. <laughs> So you don't know what they're saying, but it's, that, 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 you know, hey, man, I don't know. what He, he might be telling me, he might be calling me an a idiot. You know, <laughs> no under his ready. But that beat, man, once that beat gets there, I like it all. I'm going to be honest. Um, My group, the infantry, they are stuck on like an old school. They don't listen to a lot of the new rap. And personally, I tell them they miss a lot of new things that are out there. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm in the process right now of working on like a, a gospel rap album, so to speak. But it's not That's so much gospel. Badass. It's just uh, I'm going to be rapping, and I'm going to be most of the most of it is scripture. I'm going to be very honest with you, yeah, um, because that's where I feel like I am in my career. I've rapped about everything else, um, and I really enjoyed that last project, uh, that Kanye West Jesus Lives project. That rap album was pretty good. A lot of people did not listen oh, yeah. to him on Sunday service because they might not like Kanye West. But I'm like. You're really doing yourself a disservice because you, he's saying a lot. And then that gospel album, my goodness, that gospel album can stand up with anything. And you heard that from the general. Yeah, I'll tell you that. And see, this is the thing, man. There, there's a lot of folks that they don't, they don't give a lot of this stuff a chance. No, they don't give it a chance. Um, you look at uh, uh, the this gospel album I'm doing, and I'm doing it personally from my heart, from my heart to God. I feel like that's where I'm at. Yeah. I've been so fortunate, and I'm so blessed. If something takes off from there, hooray. I know the chances are a lot smaller by being that type of album as, as, as with these other secular albums. But I've pretty much spoken and rapped about everything, Jaguar. It's, it's, it's time now. I, gotta, I have on every song maybe one or two songs you know, that I'm giving it up to the man upstairs. But now it's time for me to just give him a full project. Well, I think that's pretty cool, man. I I am I am so glad to, to hear that uh, that you're going to be doing this because th there is a lot of good music out there in that genre, and yes. uh, I just don't think people give it enough of a shot. Exactly, and these and and these artists, you know, you have to really respect them because they're going after the the, the polar is set high, my friend. When you reach it <laughs> for that level, yes, it, there's nothing higher. So. I respect everyone, any type of music that does that. 
That's why I was very surprised when Kanye West did it. I was very, very surprised. And he did a good project. He did. Um, people, this guy, I keep bringing him up because when you bring him up, people think about everything else. But for that moment, he did go there for a while. He beat me to it, actually. And I was like, hey, yeah. man, I'm about to work on this. But he released his, and it was great. It inspired me to keep going, and it showed me that I was on the right track. Well, I'll tell you, man, you've got some really good stuff here. Thanks for making time for us. Before we let you go, I want to play one more track here. Tell me about Twilight Time featuring Rose. We're going to play that here in a few moments. Twilight Time featuring Rose is a throwback. Let's go back to Preservation Hall. Let's go back to World War I. Let's go all the way back to the 20s. This is a throwback. The music and the production is a throwback from classic jazz music. Rose is a passionate upcoming New Orleans artist. We merge those styles with New Orleans traditional music, which you will hear you're going to hear a whole band in there. You're going to hear the Mighty Gras, the tubas. Everything is in, in there. It's a fun song. Uh, it's going to show you the spirit of New Orleans, but it's also going to go way back at the turn of the century. That's what we okay, tried to so capture. Biggest problem That's awesome. Song. That's awesome. Well, uh, you have been fantastic. Thanks for doing uh -huh. this, brother. And uh, I definitely want to talk to you more. So uh, keep us updated on everything, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you, General. I sure will. Jack Ward, keep on plugging. Keep up the good work. Salute. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you, man. There he goes, the general. And we are going to go to Twilight Time featuring Rose. And it's here on your big, big broadcast. Everybody look like they in the something. Yeah. Well, I got the barroom bumping, the juke joint jumping, and everybody look like they in the something. Yeah. Yeah. See, she wanna come, but he won't let her go. She in her head up. halfway out the door. Oh, yeah, he yeah. don't think she know how to act. She don't let her already yeah. and made it back. Is Twilight Time featuring Rose, and that is the fantastic The General. Not to be confused with the guy from the insurance commercials. 